Alec says, hello, Father George. There are two songs I know of where the lyrics refer to God as a female. What may lead people into believing that God is a female when we've always addressed God as God the Father? Uh, yeah, Alec. Um, so I can't specifically speak for those people who wrote those songs. But what I do know is that um, there are tendencies, and I don't know if these are Catholic songs or not, but uh, this definitely exists in the world, and the tendency has even begun to creep into some parts of the Catholic Church that um, people, first off, have begun to separate their themselves and their conception of God from revelation, from the scriptures. Um, and so that's kind of step one. If you want to start talking about God as anything other than um, the Father, you basically have to stop well, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you have to stop reading the New Testament. Um, that's what has to happen first. And so what they've done is they've begun to kind of uh, try to think about God without revelation and just using their own philosophy or their own approach to things. And, they, and so they say things like, well, God is not male or female. And in a certain sense, they're right. Uh, God is neither male nor female. Um, God is completely immaterial. Therefore, he does not have a gender. Um, he is beyond, beyond gender, you could almost say. He's not really male or female because God is so far beyond anything that we know or we've experienced. So what they're doing is they're, they're focusing more on their own philosophical approach. And they've forgotten that even though God is neither male nor female, he did choose to reveal himself as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so, you know, kind of like whenever a person um, introduces themselves to you, you call them back by the name that they introduced themselves. And so, you know, if someone's name is actually Alexander and they say, hi, I'm Alex, well, you, you refer to him as Alex because that's how they presented themselves to you. And so if God has presented himself to us as a father and as a son, well, then we should refer to him as father, son, and Holy Spirit, right? Because that's just the normal thing to do when someone else reveals themselves, especially God, when he reveals himself, well, we deal with him how he revealed himself because really we're we're doing this all on his terms. He's the one that revealed himself to us. Um, and so they have kind of begun to trust their own intellect as opposed to trusting the revelation of God. And then what they've now done is they've even begun to say like, well, if God is neither male nor female, I think it's unjust that God is always referred to as a male. Therefore, we need to call him a female in more songs so that we can shift people's understanding and, and make it more balanced or something of the sort, which I'm all for justice and fairness, but really I think we're doing an injustice to God so that we can try and, I don't know, convince people that God isn't male or something. I, I don't really know. Um, you know, why can't we just call God what he's referred, what he revealed himself to be? Um, and then when people do really grasp that, well, we can talk about that really God in himself is neither male nor female. Um, without really hurting anybody's feelings and without misrepresenting God in any way. Good question, Alec.